Dan, great to have you with us. Good to be here. Um, could you have published the same note, basically, prior to uh, the tweet, the infamous tweet? I mean, was anything different in your view? Look, I has think, it been de-risked in any way after it's gone through that process? I think it has been de-risked in terms of when you looked at what potentially could happen, especially with Musk potentially not as CEO. I think the fine, you know, that was sort of ultimately lower than expected. I think now it's really about them turning the corner in profitability. I mean, that's been the game changer. You look what happened in 3Q. Look, based on our analysis, and when we modeled this out in 2030, we believe this is a company that's going to transform autos, very similar as Apple has transformed smartphones. And I just view this as a pivotal inflection point in the Tesla story. What if the company has to raise money? Do you think that's out of the picture? I mean, is that part of your 440 th thesis? Yeah, so we have about a 30% chance that they'll have to raise, call it about $2 billion, in our opinion. Ultimately, based on our model right here and the profitability as they turn the corner, we do not think that a capital raise on the horizon. And that's something that's been a dark cloud over the stock. And you're just you're starting to see investors now. You look out the next five, ten years, where can this stock go? And in our opinion, you know, 440, I think, is for starters. Because you, you get these bottlenecks cleared, you look at China, you could start looking at a stock with a five in front of it. Well, I was looking for the, the earnings piece of this to get to the $440 price target. So you think $22 of earnings power by 2025. That's looking a long ways out. Yeah, well, from a disruptive technology perspective, very similar to how we viewed Apple many years ago, if you look at Tesla in 2019, 2020 earnings, you don't buy the stock here. No. You have to have a much more normalized earnings where this goes with Model 3 production, especially with Europe and China starting to hit the ground running. And everything we're seeing out of Fremont, Giga, and China, in our opinion, it's all the tailwinds right now as investors see the forest of the trees in the stock. Do you believe that they're producing 1,000 Model 3s a day? Yeah, so, so right I mean, that's sort of key, right, to believing that the free cash flow is there, to believing that there won't be a raise necessary, et cetera. Yeah, I mean, all of our checks, uh, you know, from Giga as well as Freeman, we continue to think based on normalized production right here, it's, it's right now about 6,500, 7,000 per week. Ultimately, the question is, can they get to 10K? We think they can get there, especially as you start to see Giga 3 in, in Shanghai. But right now is about as comfortable that we felt in the Tesla story. And I think I look out, you look at sort of why the stock's reacting the way it is in a, in a tough tech tape. It's because you look at the Model 3 production, where this thing could go. In our opinion, it's a stock that re-rates higher with risk still there. Meaning the fact that it's having a great third quarter or fourth quarter, even as everybody else in tech has been slammed in. And what is your perspective on this stock? We were talking this a moment ago, but there's a split between whether it's viewed as an auto company or a technology company. You have to view it as the latter to justify these kinds of price targets. Yeah, as an auto, you view it as overvalued and you think that sure. there's no way you own it. I view it as a disruptive technology, and in our opinion, as as disruptive a technology companies we've seen since Apple going back 2007 and in the next decade this is going to be a game changer stock and that's why it's all about that uh, free cash flow and profitability we look at five six seven years by the way you mentioned Apple you're buying it here look we continue to believe it's all about as we've Services. talked about it's all about the service but all about the install base 350 okay. million we believe ultimately 10 million units uh, came out of China that didn't come in. Ultimately, I think that's starting to be factored in the street numbers. We be buying that continued here, and I think the bad news is baked in as, uh, as we've seen with the, the street numbers.